Okay, so my name is Len from HLP Controls and I'm here to show you how the new plumb guard works. We've released a new model called the V2 and it has some differences from the previous model, which was fantastic, but the new one has got some more features. So this is how it comes in a carry case with uh, the plumb guard inside. It also comes with the leads. So in the, in the box is the actual plumb guard itself. So that's what they look like. And you have some leads. So you have two red leads. And the red leads plug into the, lead, into the two red sockets on the front and they're marked left and right. You also have a green lead. Now the green lead is the earth stake. So that plugs in and you have a, a stake that you would then put into the ground. It doesn't have to be right where you're working, it can be up to three or four metres away. So the first thing you do with the plumb guard is you need to test all the leads. So when you first turn the unit on, you'll notice that the lights flash and it flashes the on light and the test lead light. So they will continue to flash until you do a successful test. So you've tested the leads, because no good using the unit if the leads aren't working or they've been damaged. To test the leads, what you do is you connect all the leads together. So I can just use this bit of water pipe here. I can connect all the leads onto that. They're all connected together. Push and hold the test button. You get that test. Plus you get three lights flashing. So you can see the three lights flashing there and that means that the test is fine. So if I then release that button, the test has been completed, the plumb guard will then beep to let you know that it's working and it's happy. So I'll turn it off. We will disconnect one lead. Well, that'll simulate you've got a lead with a fault. So we'll turn it on. It starts to flash the test button, so you push the button and test to hold it. And you'll see that we only have one lead, one light flashing on the left side, and the right side lead is not flashing at all. That means that that lead is not working. So we'll do that again. Quick test, all the leads are fixed. There was a fault, but now we've rectified it. Push the button, hold it. We get three lights flashing. And that means all the leads are working. Fantastic. So I disconnect that. So that's an easy way of doing it if you have all the leads on the one bit of pipe, or you can just connect all the leads together, it doesn't matter. But the earth lead then needs to be connected to the earth stake. And the earth stake put in the ground somewhere near your work site. So that's really it. If you had jumper leads, then you'd put the jumper leads on as well, and we'll cover that in another video. But then the plumb guard is now working. So you can work knowing that every 10 seconds that's going to beep and let you know that it's running. The batteries don't need charging for probably eight hours working. Um, they come with a complete charger kit, so it's mains and car charger. And yes, the car chargers will do trucks up to 24 volts. So that's fully waterproof and now you can work whatever and you know that your work site is safe. Now, just to give you an idea of what happens in a fault, I'll just introduce a small voltage onto the plumb guard onto one lead so you can see what happens when it actually uh, gets a fault. Now you'll see here that it's now alarming. That sounds the same as the test function, that's true. But you'll see that one of the leads lights is actually on and that tells you which side of the pipe was live. So if you don't know which side of the pipe's live, that will tell you. Now I'll turn it off, and that's the only way of stopping the alarm, otherwise the alarm will continue to go. I'll turn it off just so that you can hear me clearer. If you've been away from your, to your truck or something, and you come back to your work site and that alarm is going off, don't go near it. There's been a fault that's come onto the pipe or the area while the time that you've been away and it could now be dangerous. Don't risk it. If there's been a short time fault there, 
there's good chances that it can come back any time. It could be caused by somebody's appliance, could be in that house, could be the next house, could be down the street. You just don't know. So if the plum guard's alarming, follow your WorkSafe uh, policies and procedures and contact the people you need to. But certainly don't go back to that and don't touch those pipes, don't disconnect it. I only turned it off then just so I could speak and you could hear me. So that's how it all works, the plum guard. Um, hopefully that will provide you guys with a bit of uh, knowledge about how easy they are to use. They shouldn't take more than one minute to set up on every job. When you get um, quick at it and you're doing meters and things like that, it doesn't even take a minute to do it properly and do the test. Now, if you don't do a test, the unit won't work. You must do a lead test. If I turn it on now, it's not beeping because I haven't done a lead test. It's flashing the test light at me. Please do a lead test. Now the idea is that you're then making sure that all the leads are working, there's no breaks, they're all connected, and it's safe. Now, it won't do anything. It's not making a noise, so it's not protecting you at this time. It won't protect you until you've done a test, and then, only if the test is successful, and then it will beep every 10 seconds to let you know. If you don't do anything, that will turn off in one minute. So if you happen to push the button by accident, put it back in your truck, it'll stay on for a minute, then it'll turn off, and that extends the battery life. Now that's one of the new features in the Mark II version, um, so just to, just to let everybody know. The other features are we have really heavy duty buttons now, uh, the battery life's been extended, and we've got the self-testing feature uh, mandatory. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us, but um, that's the Plum Guide Mark II.